Hello. So it's story time again. Children are out playing just now and I'll call them in. Oh no. They're not playing. They're having an argument. Well, what's going on? What's going on? This has not been kind. Daddy's not selling with me. Oh, I'm trying to tell a story to the children at home. I'll tell you what. I'll come out and tell a story to you and Lewis in the garden. A story. Okay, let's have a story. He started it. Okay, never mind who started it. Let's finish it with a story, shall we? Just possum. Possum's a bit sad that you've been fighting. Can I be stroke? Can I be stroke, Lewis? Mm. So possum's come up with a good story. Would you like to hear it? Yeah! Would you like to hear it, Lewis? Okay. I'm going to listen to the story. Is that okay if possum listens to the story? This story is about a mum who has two children that keep on fighting. So the mum, the mum just didn't know what to do. Her children were fighting and disagreeing and arguing all the time. They weren't sharing toys. They could never agree what game to play. And so she said, will you go out into the garden? Maybe you'll play better there. Well, they went out into their small garden and guess what? Within a few minutes, they were arguing and fighting again. So the mum came out and she sat down and she said, Right, she said to both her children, I have a little task for you. I want you to go round the garden to see if you can collect small twigs. Small twigs? Yes, as many as you can, she said. And so for five or ten minutes, the children collected small twigs and then the mum tied the twigs together just like this the mum tied the sticks her children had collected into a bundle and then she went to one of her children and she said are you strong yes are you sure yes do you think you can snap those twigs in half yes go on then give it a go Keep trying. And her child tried and tried. Come on, more strength in it. And it was impossible. Watch this, said the mum. And she took one of the twigs out of the bundle. Now, she said, try and snap that. That was easy. You see, said the mum, we're... We are a bit like these sticks. If we if we stay together, we're strong. And we can help each other through difficult times. But if we fight and we don't share and we go, don't get in all the time, we can be like this stick. Easy to break. Not so easy to get through difficult times. So the children understood what the mum was saying and what she meant. Well, it didn't stop them fighting all the time, but it did help them think and understand that being together, especially at difficult times, can make you strong. Well, there was a wee story, maybe to help out at a difficult time, eh? That was a good suggestion, possum. So, uh, what we did after that was we tried to work together. And Sky and Lewis worked together making riddles.
and Sky made a riddle book. And here's Sky now. Would you like to see her? And she's made a riddle book and she made it all herself. Do you want to explain how you make a riddle book? Yeah, so you put it in a piece of paper mm -hmm. and then you copy it and to whatever you're going to put in and if you want to find the riddle book you mm -hmm. put it in the riddle book right? so and how did you think of a riddle in the first place how do you get the answer you walk around your house it can be inside or outside so you can walk around your house inside or outside if you've got a garden or a wee drive and you look at something to give you an idea for the riddle and then when you've got an idea for the riddle you write down the answer and then you have to think of the riddle. Make it a little bit tricky, but possible to guess. And a good tip that we discovered was when you're first writing it down, use a spare piece of paper. And so then, after that, once you've written your riddle, you can copy it into your riddle So you book. don't do mistakes. So you don't do mistakes. There you are. So this says Riddle Don't Book by, by Sky. And this is her riddle. And would you like to read it out? Yes. See if you get the riddle. People jump on me. You can lie on me and look at the clouds on me. What am I? So I'll read that out again. Oh, tricky. People jump on me. You can lie on me and look at the clouds on me. What am I? Hmm. 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 Anyone got any idea? What do you think? Maybe. That's a good answer. What are you looking for, Sky? A trampoline. A trampoline. Did you get that? Well, maybe you could make a riddle book yourself, you see. All you need is a piece of paper and you fold it over and then you have to walk around the house and look at something, either inside or outside the house, and then you that's your answer. And then you write the answer down and then you think about the riddle. How do you describe the answer? But make it a little bit tricky, but not too tricky, so people might be able to guess it. And then you can make your own book. You could put pictures in it too. And if you don't have spare paper in the house, then you could perhaps do it in a different way. Maybe you could do it, write it on a tablet or a computer or find another way to write it so that you can remember it and, and that you've got a riddle book. And you can show my dad. That's a great idea. Dad, yeah? you came around the house with me. And you found your own riddle. Why don't you say it to the children? Okay, I, I went round the house with Skye and I spotted something for a riddle. Do you want me to share it with the children? Yeah. Do you want my riddle? Well, I wrote it down like Skye, so I'd remember it. Are you ready? I am always getting lost. I hide behind the couch. When people find me, they are happy. Hmm. What could the answer be? What do you think? The answer is... A remote control! <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed this story time. And maybe had a lesson or two. When it's difficult times, mm -hmm. it's good to work together. Bye. Bye. Till next time. <laughs>